Hello. Today we'll be going over AWS Partner CRM Connector. CRM integration is a solution for you to securely collaborate and scale your code selling engagements with AWS Partner Network right from your own CRM. To make it e easier for you to connect with AWS Partner Central, we are launching a managed pa package called AWS Partner CRM Connector for Salesforce. With this new package, your Salesforce admin can set up, map, and schedule synchronization jobs between your Salesforce and AWS systems. Once set up, sales users will be able to click and receive or select and share leads and opportunities with AWS. With this click over code solution, you no longer will need to build and maintain a software to connect to AWS. The package is free and available now to download from Salesforce App Exchange. To locate this application, go to appexchange.salesforce.com and search AWS Partner CRM Connector. Once you have downloaded this application, it will appear as AWS Partner CRM Connector. Before you start, these th three prerequisites are required to be completed. One, you are signed up for the ACE program. Two, you have Salesforce Lightning and Enterprise Professional on or limited level. And three, you provisioned an AWS 3 bucket for file exchange. We'll begin with a demonstration of a one-time setup for your administrator. After this installation, you can find the application located under the search apps column or the, th the nine dots within a square in the top left corner of your Salesforce. Simply select View All and select the AWS Partner CRM Connector. The landing page of the application is a guided setup for setting up the application connection to AWS Partner System. The application setup is a three-step process. Step one, set up the authentication to access an AWS Managed S3 bucket that holds the leads and opportunities to and from AWS. Click on Start to create a new named credential based on the AWS Signature v4 protocol and fill in the details as per the instructions in the Quick Start Guide. Step two, configure the settings in the connector package. Give the name, S3 bucket, and details as per the instructions in the Quick Step Guide. Step three, click on the Test Connection button to validate that the connection has been set up. This will then present a success box if it has been done successfully. Next, there's mapping. The next step for the administrator is to set up the mapping of the objects and fields. For each of the objects, lead and opportunity, the administrator will be able to map to a core object on the Salesforce or to a custom object in both cases. The rest of the mapping steps remain the same. There are two types of mapping, simple, where the administrator will be able, able to map a field the same data type from Salesforce, and B, pick list. Each of the pick list values need to be mapped. For pick list mapping, administrators will need to map all values, both for AWS mandatory fields and for partners mandatory field. For fields that map to more than one field, administrators can set a default value. To help mapping long pick list, we offer an auto map feature that auto populates exact matches. In the case that you don't want AWS inbound op values to update the certain records, you could switch off for enable APN updates. Once all fields have been mapped, the administrator will be able to schedule jobs to sync leads or opportunities or both between AWS and Salesforce as per the choice of frequency. To create a new schedule, simply select what object you would like to update and the frequency at which you would able. You can also disable inbound communication and schedule from there. Additionally, administrators will be able to set up reports to monitor overall metrics and health of the connection. We also offer reports on inbound and outbound jobs out of the box. Next, we will demonstrate how a sales team member could select and share leads or opportunities. Proceed to the sales mode 
within Salesforce. Select the user to navigate to the leads and opportunities view. Data's partner connector introduces three new fields for the sales user to see. Sync with AWS, eligible to sync with APN, and last, sync date. Sync with AWS. Set this box to select the record to be picked for the sync next time a scheduled job runs. Eligible to sync is a read-only field that indicates whether the record has changed since last update. And last sync date indicates a timestamp of when a record last synced. Download now if you have it and get started now. Reach out to your AWS Partner Development Manager or Partner Solution Architect to know more. Thank you so much and have a great day.